basketball in a state of flux right now. But I think this program has a chance to, to really grow and uh, flourish in that league and on this level. Late in the shot clock, Filipowski missed, got it back. McCain is open, let the defender fly on by. He's going top gun for three. Well, we were singing Duke's praises defensively against Baylor, but uh, they're playing outstandingly offensively. And then when Mark Mitchell makes it, that's where he really does see shines defensively. Despite the miss, it's Mitchell. And he drops the hammer. A 13-0 run for Duke. It'll be Queen's ball when we come back. Mark Mitchell fighting for the loose ball and slamming it home for the Blue Devils. Second straight opponent out of the ACC for Queens University. December 22nd, they were at then number 18, Clemson. And they lost that game. Picks it out with Key, their leading scorer. Unable to hit the jumper. Careless pass. And they get it right back, and Pollard lays it in. John Shire not happy about that, but he a member of the 2010 National Championship team. That's knocked away. Three lane to the basket. And two, Albury, he's the leading scorer so far, Mike. Yeah, and two quick baskets by Queens. So now he's got nine points. And all of a sudden, just an eight-point game, and Queens surviving maybe that initial punch. Proctor driving and scoring, and he'll go to the free throw line. And the thing with, uh, you know, for, for a guy coming off an injury to maybe do a double header. Back in action after the Christmas break and wishing everyone a prosperous new year in 2024. Spin, the take, and the land. If he is scoreless, Mike, he averages 17 per game. Fifth best of the A's son. And that's, you know, in the scouting report, and Duke likes to do that. They'll take a look at the other team like this, their leading score, and really lock in. Great lob, high low. They're one of the stories of the league so far. Just one loss so far this season. Filipowski took it away. McCain, tight pass back to Filipowski. Queens, they, they really need to get McKee going, although McLaurin a big part of their offense as well. Filipowski chance at the three-point play. Watch this. Again, a smaller cover now. Is some good strength. And, you know, you get your hands in the back and the low. That's a tough contestant three. He hit the deck, we're running the other way with McKay behind the back, and he lays it in. Here's the look, you know, the crossover, two crossovers, and then finishing with the left hand. I mean, that's just deep in the shot clock for McKee. Trying to shake Foster. High degree of difficulty on the two-pointer, and he got a very gracious roll. Look at this. I mean, it, this is all you want defensively. You look at that down, and you see it's a long two, and... Uh, a foul, he has no chance to get the ball back, and he's got to, it puts him on the bench. Filipowski. Courts correction and hits the short shot. Young now with four points in the game and the largest lead for the Blue Devils. As it swells to 20, it might get higher. McCain, hesitation. Proctor! 8-0 run. McCain, Blakes, Proctor from three-point real. McKee trying to work off the screen, lost the handle. Young and Blakes. Blakes. Right here, look at that, just off of McKee. And then this is what, you know. Yeah, he's way above, above his average of 15 and a half points per game for Aubrey. Offensive class over the top. I think we saw him come of age in that game, and he has gone on to <laughs> continue and build on that. They storm the court. The Candace Pavilion. Oh, up and under Proctor. Bounds will stay with Duke. Tyrese Proctor. Nice move to get free. And then gets by the defender with a lay in. Stewart. Knocked away. Queens. As a university, Mike. Oh, a jam for cash. Right down Broadway. Back the other way. Stewart recovering on the Euro move by Albury. And Stewart right through the defenders. 
double fisted at the rim. That's his move. He stopped short and then laid it in. Hey, a three at the other end for Pollard. You played against two ACC teams back to back on their floor. The steal. Foster does a chin up. It was a 78 73 loss, the only home loss so far this season. Blake's on the drive. First ACC game today. They've got, they've got 20 in a row to finish out. Six, 69 and the win for the Blue Devils. They improved to nine and three on the season, seven and one on their home floor.